Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Predictions. Obviously this weekend just gone, League One is back in action on Tuesday and Wednesday night. Um, before I get started, just a quick reminder, I am trying to get to a thousand subs come May, so end of the football season. Um, guys, the best way you can help me is by sharing my videos, letting people know about this channel. And let's see if we get to a thousand subs together. Um, there will be a big thank you from me and there will be a special video once that goal is reached. Um, but it's up to you how quick you want to see this video. Um, obviously once I've reached a thousand subs, it will be up with probably within the, you know, a few weeks of uh, doing the thousand subs. But anyway guys, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Blackpool versus Wickham. I don't think Blackpool played. Um, if you know roughly why Blackpool didn't play them, please feel free to put it down in the comments below. But Wickham on the other hand did play and they beat some of them 1-0 at home. Uh, great three points for Wickham. Disappointing day for Sunderland. I'll talk more about Sunderland when we get down to it. Um... But, you know, on the Wickham end, as I've just said, a great three points for the, for them. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Wickham Wanderers win. My next one is Bristol Rovers versus Bolton Wanderers. Bolton Wanderers lost 3-1 at home to Rochdale. Um, Bristol Rovers lost 2-0 away to Doncaster. Um, Disappointing day for both clubs. More disappointing so for Bolton because of um, you know going one 0 up in that game. And if Bolton want to stay in the championship, that is one game they're going to have to win. Unfortunately, they didn't do so. Their future is looking very bleak at the moment. Uh, at the minute, um, but disappointing day for both clubs. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a three-one. Bristol Rovers win. Uh, I just think Bolton tied out a little bit and it come the end of the game. My next one is Burton Albion versus AFC Wimbledon. Um, AFC Wimbledon being Portsmouth 1-0 at home. Burton Albion losing 4-1 away from away from home against Fleetwood Town. Great result for Fleetwood. Disappointing day for Burton Albion. Great three points for Wimbledon. Pretty much probably just off the cuff with that Wimbledon result. But still a good three points for Wimbledon. None of the I've uh, none none of the wiser. Um but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a two nil AFC Wimbledon win. My next one is Portsmouth versus Lincoln. Lincoln drawing nil nil with Shrewsbury Town at home. Portsmouth losing one nil to AFC Wimbledon away from home. Disappointing day for Portsmouth on that Portsmouth perspective. Um, Lincoln on the other hand, probably a great point. Uh, I know they start to settle in under their new management, um, but you know this is a question. Where are Lincoln going up, you know, come the end of the season? That is the number one question I really do want to know. Obviously, we're going to have to wait and see to see what happens. Obviously, a big Christmas period coming up as well. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Lincoln City win. My next one is Watchdale versus Milton Kings Dons. Milton Kings uh, 0-0 at home to Coventry. Watchdale beating Bolton Wanderers 3-1 away from home. Uh, Watchdale went 1-0 down in that game as well. Uh, great fight back from Watchdale. Um, you know, as far as going 1-0 down in Watchdale's eyes and coming back 1-0 at 3-1. So it turned out not to be a bad day for Watchdale. 
Um, Milton King, on the other hand, nil nil at, um, at home to Coventry. Uh, you know, probably, probably a great point for MK Dunn if I think about it. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1 0 Watchdale win. My next one is Shrewsbury Town versus Gillingham. Gillingham loses 2 1 at home to Peaceborough. Shrewsbury 0 0 away to Lincoln. Disappointing day probably for Shrewsbury. Um, Gillingham, yeah, it's got to be a disappointing day for you, isn't it? 2-1 uh, uh, losers at home to Peterborough. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Southend versus Doncaster. Southend, one all away to Tramia. Doncaster beating Bristol Rovers 2-0 at home. Great three points for Doncaster. Um, on the other hand, Southend won all away to Tramia. You know, probably a good point for them as well. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Doncaster win. My next one is Sunderland versus Tramia. Sunderland loses a one nil away, away from home against Wickham Wanderers. Tramia uh, drawing one all at home to Southend. Um, great point for. Uh, Tramia and a disappointing day for Sunderland. Probably a game Sunderland expected to win overall. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Sunderland win. My next one is Coventry City versus Fleetwood Town. Coventry City 0 0 away to MK Dons. Fleetwood Town beating Burton Albion 4 1 at home. Great. Result for Fleetwood, good three points for Fleetwood as well. Um, Coventry, uh, don't quite know how to sum that up from a Coventry perspective. Probably a good point at MK Dons, but I, put, I think I'll put Coventry to get the three, I can't quite remember. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for 2-2 two, two scoreline for that one. My next one is Itchwich versus Rotherham United. Itchwich losing 2 0 away to Akkagan Stanley. Disappointing day for Itchwich. Rotherham losing 2 1 at home to Oxford United. Great three points for Oxford. Disappointing day for Rotherham, disappointing day for Itchridge, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one as well. My last one for the midweek games is Peaceborough versus Akkakun Stanley. Akkakun Stanley beating Itchridge 2 0 at home. Great three points for Akkington. Peaceborough beating Gillingham 2-1 away from home. Great three points. Probably more on the verge of the Accrington result. Listen, bottom of the league. Um, so, you know. And for bottom of the table team to be a top team, this is where some of my surprises do come into play. Uh, I don't think I had that one down as quite the result that that Atkinson Stanley game went out by. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 0 0 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.